So this is another follow-up video to part of my Tesla graphics card series. I decided that since the Tesla M40 is on sale right now on eBay, they're more affordable again, that I would buy one and I'm making a custom power cable this time rather than just modifying one. I guess you could say I'm still modifying this one too, but um, this one's going to be a little bit less of a hack job than the other one was. What I'm using are um, some 12, 12 volt EPS power connectors off power supplies. I just cut them off of dead scrap power supplies that I have from my recycling pile. I have one that has the nice uh, braided cover on it, and then I have one that's just bare wires. I cut the braided covering back, or not the braided cover, I'm sorry. I cut the wiring back far enough where the braided covering will go over these particular wires. And as I did in my other video, I labeled the connectors of which pins are what. The gold pins are the 12 volt. And I have my handy little diagram here of the pinouts of, of how the connectors should be wired. So currently I've started the process of using the uh, helping hands and soldering iron to make the splices. I've decided that the method I'm going to use is I'm going to take the ends of the wires, spread them apart, jam them together, and then twist them. Which in my test one it seems to work fine. But yeah, I am going to start doing that and I'm going to make the process a time lapse. Alright, so now I got all the wires soldered together the way they need to be. It uh, <laughs> went from basically looking terrible to progressively better. As with anything soldering, it seems like if you're trying to do it through a camera, it just doesn't end well. I um, end up having to splice some of those wires together off camera and then solder them together. The spreading apart and kind of jamming them together works I found it works better if you hold one end, twist, twist it, then hold the other end and then twist. Um, I'm not the happiest with these joints, especially these ones where I displace two to, two to one. They don't look great. I think they're solid mechanically and they should be good electrically, it's just they're ugly. Next step is I gotta slide all the heat shrink over. Um, and what I ended up having to do is 
because on the server side of things there's only three 12 volts and five grounds and then on the card side of things there's four grounds and four 12 volts um, let's find the pairs let's see here they are so on one of them I had to send one of the 12 volts to, from the server to two of the 12 volts on the video card side of things that way I can have all four pins energized on the other side of things I had to send two of the grounds from the server side to just one of the grounds on the video card side I could have probably just cut off the extra ground but I kind of wanted to just have it all nice and neat so next step is going to be uh, heating the heat shrink Alright, so that's the uh, mostly finished product. I'm not proud of how it came out, but I think it'll work. I just have to uh, flatten those out a little bit and then slide the braid over the wire. Got a little snag there, but I think it'll work. I really wanted to heat shrink over this, but I didn't have the right size, so I'm just going to trim this up, put a little zip tie over it, call it a day. I think in the end, this is not going to be a forever cable. Um, this was a good experiment. Hopefully, now that I've done this at least once, I'll be able to make a better product. I think this might be the better route, though, than trying to buy the cables if you're going to use this in your server. I haven't seen anything online that I could find um, for purchase like this that's wired to go from this ends the Dell riser card to go from the Dell riser card straight to a Tesla that requires the 12 volt EPS there are the uh, adapters that you can buy that will go from the riser card to a PCI Express 8 pen and a 6 pen but then you have to buy a dual PCI Express 8 pen to EPS 12 volt adapter, which I don't even know if there's enough room in the server to do that. I believe one of the commenters on my other video mentioned that that's the route they were going, but I don't know if, if there's enough clearance. This is a nice tidy solution, especially um, in future ones where I'll probably make a couple more since I have, I mean, I'm literally just cutting these off power supplies. They're dead. These, these ends. Um, so now that I kind of know what I'm up against, I might make a couple nicer ones and, uh, maybe try selling them. I don't know. There's kind of a liability issue here because there's no difference in the keying on, on either end. Like the way these are keyed, is how exactly how it's keyed on the riser and exactly how EPS 12 volts keyed. So the only way to really stop somebody from plugging it in the wrong way would be to putting, you know, big warning flag on it saying this side's the Tesla, this side's the riser. But hopefully that's interesting. Um, thanks for watching.